Hi and welcome back. Today we'll be introducing Source Tree, which is a version control frontend. So let's get started. So to get Source Tree, just open your web browser and do a Google search for Source Tree. Just click the first link and then just click Download Source Tree Free. Then your download will start. And once it's downloaded, just run it. Quickly click next. I'll install it on my D drive, you can do it wherever you want. Click next again. And off in case it's installed. Now just make sure launch source tree is checked. I'll quickly close my web browser. Now it will just ask you to agree. This is optional, I'll just leave it ticked. Um, you can make an account, or actually it's required. But as I've already got an account, I'll just quickly log in. As you can see, I just logged in. Now just click continue. Then skip the setup if you've got a GitHub account. You can do this, but just skip it for now. And now it will ask, do you have an SSH key that you'd like to load now? If not, you can click no and create one later if you like. Just click no on this one. And then just click download an embedded version of Git for source tree a load for to use. So that will quickly download Git. So now it will ask if you want to install Mercurial. Um, I would recommend you don't do this because we won't use this. We'll use Git, but if you do want to use it, just download it. So now Source Tree is set up, and let me quickly explain what Source Tree does and why this is so useful. So what Source Tree essentially is is something called a version control program. This is a program that every time you click a button, will just make a sort of snapshot of all of the projects that you've been working on. So for example, if I would have uh, first section and I would add 10 lines of code just to start with I could click the new button and then add it to source tree then I could clone what's in that file then if I would later add 10 other files and that would suddenly break everything I could go back to this commit that I first made and then I could reverse it so this is essentially what source tree does it's our graphical front end so that we don't need to use a terminal and all difficult commands and I hope this really helps with your development, as at least in my opinion, it sucks losing everything you've worked on just because there was a little bug. So now if you see the point of Source Tree, and you're thinking, hey, hook me up on Source Tree. To do that, we'll just need to go to the Source Tree app, just quickly open this, I can type. And we'll also need to open Visual Studio. Click File New Project. Make sure a Win32 console application is selected. Let's in solution name call it section underscore 01. And let's make the name bulls and cows like this. So now where do we want to save it? Just save it in your projects file. So now click OK. Click next. And just make sure this one's ticked and these two are unticked you'll be creating a file yourself. So now click finish. So now what I want you to do as this is an empty project is just to create your main.cpp file. So make sure it's called main.cpp like this and I want you to create it. So I'll see you when you've done that. Hello and welcome back. This is how I did it. Go to source files Right click on that, click add a new item. Now make sure C file is selected. Call that main.cpp. Click add. So now in here, you'll just quickly want to write this code. This wasn't needed. Int main like this. And then just write return zero point comma. Just quickly save that. So now let's quickly see what that's done. 
just close Visual Studio and select yes I want to save this now just go to your file explorer documents your Visual Studio projects or wherever you save this and as you can see now it's made at section 01 and there are two files in here and in that section 01 we also had a file called bulls and cows which was what we just worked on and as you can see our main.cpp file just got added here so now we've got this let's add it to source tree so in source tree click clone slash new click create new repository and at the destination path select wherever you had your project so for me it's under visual studio 2015 projects and then section underscore 01 so you can give it a name i'll just um, call mine section 01 bulls and cows now click create now it's created our new file so now just click this checkbox here to add all of these but don't do that yet as you can see if we go back in here there's this quite big file i mean now it isn't big but as you can see this one's two kilobytes this one's one one and eight this one's 384 so let's quickly exclude that because it isn't needed so under here as you can see this is the file that we're looking for it's a .sdf file so now just right click ignore then ignore exact file name click ok as you can see now it's added this which is just a list of files that it needs to ignore now just click here to stage all of them and let's quickly call this initial commits now just click commit now if we go into branches as you can see it's got our initial commit so now go into your visual studio again or don't go into your visual studio go into your file go into bulls and cows just quickly delete main as you can see in our working copy it's just seen that so let's quickly stage that we call this commit underscore 01 or let's call it 2 click commit now go back into branches as you can see now it's saved this in its source tree memory so now what if you didn't want to delete that what if you want to go back well just right click on here and click reverse commit are you sure you want to do this yes as you can see it's doing something and now it's got our new commit here if we go back here you can see our main file has been put back so i hope this helped you i hope this also showed you what source tree can do because what if you would write 100 lines of code and you suddenly broke it this can do exactly the same with code as you can see here it's um added this code and here you can also see what it's edited so i hope this helps if it did please like share and subscribe